So I'm out here at Kensington Metro Park and wanted to go to the nature uh, location where you get a lot of different bird varieties local to Michigan. You also get a lot of folks feeding them too. So I'm looking to play around with the 70 to 300 on the XH2. May throw the teleconverter on there as well. See how well they play together. straight I'll hit two and then I can make a right So there we go with the teleconverter on there. You guys hopefully can see that. Got the GoPro going here for POV. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what that does for us. All right, let's get down this little ramp and see what additional opportunities we have. Now, one thing to keep in mind when it comes to the teleconverter, I lose a whole stop of light. So this lens goes from a four to a five, six to a five, six to an eight. And we check this guy out. Wow. Right up to me. There you go. Will he take it out my hand? Yes, he will. No, no nut. You don't want the peanut? There we go. Will he take it now? Yes, he will. Look at that. Fantastic. Let's see if we can get this. Now this puts me even closer to this guy without even thinking about it. And he is posing there for the pick. Let's see, he's looking for more. All right, we're gonna let you go. That was awesome. All right, this looks very steep. <laughs> Try not to bust my butt coming down this thing. So having the teleconverter on is pretty nice so far. I got some deer on the other side of this road. Uh, let me zoom all the way out, take a picture, and then I will zoom all the way in so you can see the difference. If I can get the deer to stay and they are moving. And as I zoom all the way in, get really close. It's kind of nice. So yeah, I'm liking the uh, teleconverter on here. I have to remember to keep it in my bag so I don't forget it. All right, let's 
looks like we have a hawk here. I assume that's a hawk. I'm not sure. I'll try to look him up later. But he just soared past me and landed. And I didn't even hear him. Um, I'm fully extended on the uh, converter with its 70 to 300. So we'll see if I can get a little closer and get some shots of this guy and get better detail. All right, so I did not get the hawk. It definitely was a hawk. As I got closer, he moved. As I got closer again, he moved. So didn't want me to get a picture of him. Definitely we'll see I'll be coming back for sure. That is a lot of nest up there. So this is definitely the area to be, probably a lot of the cranes. Um, I don't know if they actually fly up a nest that high, but we'll see when I come back this way, when the uh, weather breaks and we start getting some spring growth. Okay guys, that was fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the images, enjoyed the video from the GoPro, as well as the video I took with the X-H2S and the 70 to 300 millimeter lens. I have to honestly say, I really did enjoy having the, um, what you call it, the converter on. Uh, the 1.4, it, it gave me a, a, a great amount of reach to actually at toward the end, which I know I'll go back to first when I come to this park, where the uh, boardwalk was, I was able to get some birds flying over and test out the birds in flight, test out the bird I, uh, bird autofocus, if you will. And it did a way better job. Uh, it seems to do better with open sky. So I like that it did give me some hopefully good images that you guys also see. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to coming back out here again when the weather breaks and the trees start growing their leaves and the green starts coming back in the grass and all that good stuff. I found out that those nests in the trees are for herrings, which I didn't, I didn't know herrings nested that high up in the sky. I always thought they nested uh, just above the waterline and nest that they built. So we'll see when I come back and see if I see some herrings. With that, like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video.